everyone. It is now 8.31, so Kai and I have been up for over an hour. I'm sitting on the floor with him on his little play mat and he is rolling around and playing. I just made my morning latte, so I'm gonna start drinking this, praise be. And I thought I would catch up with you guys on our morning so far. So obviously this is my little morning routine. I have a six month old baby, so this is just kind of our realistic morning routine right now. It is drastically different from the morning routine that I had before I had a baby, obviously, but I absolutely love the mornings with Kai. It's actually some of my favorite time with him. We just play and cuddle and it's just, I don't know. It's like some of the best time of the day with him. So I really love being up with him in the mornings. I usually use Kai as my little alarm clock. He wakes up between seven and 7.30 pretty much every day. So as soon as Kai gets up in the morning, the first thing we do is feed him. He is ravenous because he is sleeping through the night. So when he wakes up in the morning, he is ravenously hungry. So we always do that first thing. So we feed him, we change his diaper, we might change into his outfit, his OOTD, if you will, uh, right then, or sometimes we'll have him stay in his jammies through his first nap. Today, I just put him in his outfit of the day to show you guys. <laughs> but from there, it's kind of a revolving of activities for Kai. So as you saw, I put him in his little jumper while I used the restroom and brushed my teeth. He likes that okay. That's something newer that we got him because we figured he would like like the jumping part of it, which he does. That is the part he definitely likes. I think the problem with the jumper is that he doesn't really have a lot of interest in the toys that are on. On it so I think we actually might return that one and get one that's just something for him to jump in that doesn't have all the extra bells and whistles because he's really not that interested in those which is weird because we also have the skip hop activity center and he loves that thing I'll actually link that below if you have a baby or are expecting that skip hop activity center he's obsessed with that he loves there's a little bowl that sticks on it it's a little plastic bowl and we put his teethers in it and he is obsessed he could spend 20 solid minutes taking the teethers out of that bowl, chewing on his teethers. He loves the bowl, but he also loves the toys on that. But I'm gonna be honest, I think it's because like, they're close enough that he can chew on them. So anyway, so we usually revolve between those two. So for example, like while I was brushing my teeth using the restroom, kind of starting to get ready for the day, he was in the jumper. And then we came out here to the living room. I put him on the activity center while I made my coffee. And I tend to do those two things first in the morning after he's eaten. I tend to hold off on the play mat and like playing on the floor until he's had a little more time to digest his food. So usually we'll do the jumper and the activity center first and then we will move on to playing on the play mat like we are right now. So we basically rotate through activities until it's nap time. So right now we're on the play mat except I just put him back in his activity center because he was over the play mat. So I'm sitting on the floor and he's sitting right next to me and I'm gonna have my coffee. And then right now I usually also try to take care of any house things that need to be done. So usually that's the laundry. <laughs> right now I have three separate rounds of laundry that need to be put away. Our clothes, Kai's clothes, some clean towels. So I will probably do that right now. And that's what I tend to do in the morning too is try to knock out something like that. Wow, it's already 8.43. <laughs> I haven't even been talking to the camera that long. Since he woke up around 7.15 today, he will definitely take a nap between 9 and 9.30. So I'm gonna play with Kai a little bit, try to get some of this laundry put away, and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit. now 10.08. Kai went to sleep about 20 minutes ago. He was really struggling with his nap this morning. I don't know if it reached a point where he was a little overtired or if he is teething, which I, I keep thinking that he could be because he is slobbering all over the place. So I don't know. It could be really be any combination of things at this age, but he finally went down at about 9.50. I am now sitting at my desk. My desk is in the guest room, which also serves as my filming room a lot of the time. As you can see, this is a pile of clean towels. <laughs> that it is on my list for me to put them away today. So I want to put away these towels today. I also need to tidy up this room in general because I filmed a video over the weekend and it 
looks like a bomb went off. Like there's stuff everywhere from when I filmed this video. So we are also going out of town this weekend. So I need to start thinking about that and prepping for that, but we're not doing that right now. I have about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how long Kai naps. Usually his morning nap is about two hours long. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to sit here at my desk. I'm going to eat my little energy balls that Barsh and I made. I'm gonna finish my coffee because believe it or not, I still have some left. <laughs> so this is my time to get a lot of stuff done for work during his nap time. So I'm going to sit down because I do have some to-do list items to knock off right now. If I don't have a heavy work day or more than likely it's the weekend and he's taking a nap, I will sit down and work on things for YouTube or work on my newsletter. Feels like a great time to talk about that. So I'm gonna put the link to subscribe to my newsletter in the description but I am launching a newsletter. I've mentioned it in passing a couple different times, but it is going to be travel focused. So the idea is that it's gonna be like a little postcard for me to you. And every week is going to feature a different city. And if it is a city that I have been to, which most of these will probably be, I'm going to include some recommendations of my favorite food spots, sites, coffee places, things like that. I also will be including cities that I haven't been to because I have so many screenshots, you guys, like thousands thousands of screenshots of places that I have saved for when I travel to different cities. I have like a coffee shop saved in Seattle. I have a restaurant saved in Tokyo, things like that. So I'll also be doing fun little postcards like that where I will feature a city maybe that I haven't been to, but I have some saved places that I wanna try there. Eventually, I would like to feature other people and their cities, maybe their hometown, the city they currently live in, their favorite city they've traveled to, and their recommendations. So that will be coming down the line. Along with the travel aspect of this, I will have a couple other fun little tidbits in the newsletter every week. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to kind of continue the travel content in a different space and in a different way. So I really hope you want to sign up. I hope you want to get a weekly email from me. Montreal will be the first city featured in the first newsletter. I'm still finalizing all of the little like details of the newsletter, so I'm not 100% sure when the first one will go out. I'll probably give some time for people to sign up so that then we can kind of get them popping, get them sent out weekly. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. So please sign up for my newsletter if you're interested. I'm really excited about it. But anyway, I'm gonna eat these energy bites. I'm so excited about this delicious and i'm going to get a couple things done for work and the morning will be coming to a close soon i probably will hopefully be eating more than just these energy bites but honestly time will tell hashtag mom life am i right okay let's dive into this As you can hear, the baby boy is up from his nap. Oh, there's Lucy. Everyone's here, gang's all here. But that is the end of our morning routine. When Kai gets up, I kind of consider that the end of the morning portion of the day. So we will continue on with the rest of our day. I hope you enjoyed watching my very realistic morning routine. It's not that exciting or aesthetic, but I hope that you enjoyed watching it nonetheless. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. Oh my gosh, please subscribe to my newsletter, also linked below. I would love for you to subscribe to my newsletter and my channel, obviously. Please like this video, comment below, all those things. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.